after I tapped into my sensuality, it was about the presence that I didn't realize I was lacking before. Presence to just the world around me, the beauty in the simplicity of a plant, of a flower. Uh, I mean, like nothing looked the same. Everything seemed heightened. Everything tastes better. Um, your senses, you know, the way we teach is that we're operating from our senses when you move. So I'm asking, I'm cueing you, what are you feeling with your hands? What are you hearing? You know, what is what in the music is moving your hips right now? Is it the drum? Is it so it's all a sensual experience. When you have that become part of your practice, it can't help but leak into other parts of your life. So how is that relevant? Because we're so much on the go. We're constantly moving fast, 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 right? We don't allow ourselves enough time to be present. We don't allow ourselves sometimes enough time to process our feelings, to experience anything. And sensual movement in this particular style that I teach gave access to all of that. It gave permission. Your dance could be mm. spicy. Your dance could end up with you sobbing. Your dance, you could be raging and throw your fucking shoe across the room. Like it could be anything you needed it to be because it was your expression and all of it was accepted. 